Okay, so if you just saw my uh, my video <clears throat> of the first time booting up the Dell the Volstro 3360, you would have seen that as soon as I started it up, it got a blue screen of death, um, and it shut down. It also wasn't able to find the restore point to be able to st restore from uh, uh, previously uh, previously good copy of previous image. Reason for that, after going through the diagnostics with the Dell rep, uh, we found out that the fan on the CPU is either defective or not working. Um, I'm not sure why Dell didn't detect this or find it out or test it prior to sending it out to me, but uh, either case, that's exactly what happened. Um, so they're going to be sending a replacement. The replacement should be coming within 7 to 21 days. Um, waited this long, waited 18 days for this unit, now I have to wait uh, another set of days for, um, for the replacement. They actually gave me two options. One was to send out a Dell um, tech to replace the pieces that needed to replace, which was the hard drive as well as the, the cooling system. Um, or option two, basically send another replacement. So the difference is really, uh, you know, do you want it right away? And if you do, send out a technician. If you don't want it right away, then uh, you know we can send you a brand new machine. Hopefully it's tested. So um, I've gone with option number two. I don't want somebody to be open, opening this thing up, um, repairing it, and then giving it to me. Uh, basically, it would be a refurbished system, is the way that I would look at it. <clears throat> As well, uh, you know, some of the pieces may not fit snug the way that it should be, um, you know, as, as manufactured in the, uh, in the uh, uh, you know, factory. So what I wanted to do, since i got to send this one back, uh, I just want to open it up and show you what's inside. So, we're looking here, there's only one piece here that can open up, which is this piece here. I assume that that is where the hard drive is, um, or the memory. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, open that up. And we'll see what's inside there. Okay. Let's see if we can pry that open. There we go. All right, so it is, it is actually both. It is memory, as well as the, um, the hard drive, the wireless card, and the, uh, the BIOS battery. Now, I see here that there are two different makes of memory in here. Uh, let's see if the speeds are different as well. No, there are they're identical. This is this is six gigs of memory, uh, a four gig and a two gig. Let me just have a look here. I think it was supposed to be a six gig. Just gonna verify that. Okay, it actually doesn't say it on this paperwork, but um, I'm pretty sure it is a it is supposed to be a six gig. So, um, this is basically what you have access to when you open it up. Um, you only have access to those pieces. Now, you will see that there are a couple of other holes here, uh, which I assume will lift off the entire thing. There's a couple of, um, a couple of uh, uh, rubber areas here where it's hiding screw holes as well. Um, which is a bit tricky to get to. Let's see if I can get to it here. There we go. So there is uh, three screw holes on that side as well. I'm not going to open up that that piece there, um, simply because. I don't want to uh, run the risk of voiding my warranty even before receiving the unit. Um, so basically, on the back side, when you remove this cover here, um, that's what is exposed. It is the memory, the solid state hard drive, the uh, wireless card, as well as the BIOS battery. So that concludes this video of the, uh, basically the opening of the panel on the back of the Volstro 3360. If you have any questions about uh, this video, if you have any 
um, suggestions for me, please do post them. And if you like the video and you'd like to see some more about the Volstro 3360, um, I will be doing some additional testing uh, once I receive my replacement unit. And that will hopefully be a successful first boot um, for that unit. So, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like the, uh, the videos I'm producing, please subscribe. I do appreciate the uh, followers and any questions you might have. I do try to answer them in a prompt manner. Thank you again for watching.